Hey YouTube, today I am going to show you how to program this universal remote. This is a one for all model URC 6885. It's a very unique remote, it has a little LCD screen at the top there. Um, which will let you well basically it's for programming it it displays the time it will let you interact with it by asking questions and having you press the correct number you can use it to set vcr recordings and things like that but anyway i am including it with the vcr that i'm selling and i thought it would be neat uh to whenever i do this go ahead and show how to program it in a separate video and show all the codes uh, because it can it, it's getting kind of hard to find that information online and we have some good resources right now in the form of uh, specialty websites that host the manuals for these things but who knows how long those will stay around so I'm going to archive it. I'm going to show you how to program it and then I'm going to quickly get a good clean shot of all of the codes so if you need these um, there will be right here for you on this video and I'll also include a link to where you can download this uh, from where I got it as long as that site is still up so on this remote, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the key for uh, the device that we want, which is the top row there. It can either be VCR, auxiliary, TV, or cable box. Let's just pretend we're doing the TV. We're going to hit Shift. We're going to hit the VCR Pro button. And then you will see that says Setup, 1, Device Setup. 2 device mover, 3 pro setup, 4 clock setup, 5 magic key sequence? Oh no, 6, 7 sound. It's a little bit hard to see that. Anyway, 1 is what we want device setup. We're going to enter the code. I'm just going to enter the first one on the top of the page there. 179. You get that little chirp when it is valid code. And now we're set up for an Admiral TV. Okay, so. Let's have a quick look here. At the codes for this device. Let me get a and frame a little better. And obviously the idea is if this one day becomes the only resource give the video a quick pause and figure out what code you need to put in. And I guess it's also worth throwing out there that this was made, I believe, in the mid-90s. So if you are dealing with a device that is newer than that, these codes may not work. All right. I think that is about all I have to tell you. Thanks for watching.